There is no general law in, in America that you can't wear a mask during a demonstration. However, there is an old law in New York that goes back to the 1880s that, that doesn't allow uh, any more than four people to wear, to cover their face during a demonstration. Now, do you know wh why that law was passed? It was passed because of the Ku Klux Klan. They dressed up in these big white robes. You've probably seen them in movies with white hoods on and they covered their faces and they would go kill, lynch, and burn down black homes and churches. And uh, in New York, they were beginning to start demonstrating and, and the New York legislature passed a law that said that uh, no more than four people could cover their face during a demonstration. If you wanted to do a demonstration, you had to show your face. So it doesn't, it doesn't bother me if somebody in a crowd wears a mask or what bothers me is if he does something else if he throws a rock, or he breaks a window, or uh, he, he blocks somebody's entrance to a school, or a church, or a, or a, a movie theater, or, or if he uh, hits a cop, or if they begin uh, to prevent access to the things that people need to use and have to use, then, he, then he's committing a crime, and then he should be arrested. If, if there's one rule that I'm sure of, it's the way to stop a demonstration from getting out of control is to arrest the first person who gets out of control. Don't let it go to the second and third and fourth and fifth because it can very quickly get out of control. The first person that throws a rock, that person gets arrested. First person that breaks a window, that person gets arrested. The first person that spits in the face of a police officer, which by the way is an assault, gets arrested. Uh, you will find, if you follow that rule, strictly, you'll get the demonstrations under control. If you don't, they're gonna take over. I don't know what you do about the mask. I mean, I guess your legislature could pass a law saying you can't wear a mask during a demonstration. Um, but again, that doesn't bother me as much as making sure they don't go beyond the bounds they're allowed. Here, here's the way I look, look at it, how, how you balance people's rights, right? You want to protest because maybe you think the educational institutions are failing you or they're charging too much money or they're not giving enough courses or Whatever, whatever grievance you have, you have a right to have that grievance. And a lot of people have it, and they want to demonstrate, and they want to make the point. They have every right to make that point. And, uh, and the government should give them the opportunity to make it, so that the people who they're directing it to hear it. But, but they have no right, then, to interfere with the rights of other people to go about their lives.